part three covered the basics of supply. Now let's go ahead and think about what is going to cause changes in the overall level of supply. So an increase in the overall level of supply is triggered by something other than a change in the price of the good itself. A change in the price of the good itself is a movement along a fixed supply curve. So as a scenario here, let's suppose that more efficient refrigerators become available. So ice cream suppliers are willing to sell one more ice cream cone at each price because the lower costs make selling ice cream more profitable. That's going to cause us to have a new supply schedule and we're going to shift to a whole new supply curve with more supplied at every price. So there's an error in this slide. We're going to shift the whole supply curve to the right from S1 to S2. So you can see here that we have a new supply curve with new data and it's one greater at every price and you can see the supply curve shifts to the right. And it's really common for students to get mixed up when shifting the supply curve because if we say oh the overall level of supply went up there's a temptation to shift the supply curve up the upward shift of the supply curve is the same as a leftward shift of the supply curve and a leftward shift of the supply curve would mean less supply at each price so the way to remember this when you're shifting either the demand curve or the supply curve is left is less, right is more. So a higher overall level of supply is a rightward shift of the supply curve. And as we'll see later, really that is equivalent to saying a decrease in the price of supply, but we'll get to that later. A decrease in the overall level of supply could happen due to something like an increase in input prices. So if there's an increase in input prices, it becomes less profitable to supply the good. So suppliers are less willing to supply the good. So in this case, let's say that milk and sugar prices go up and suppliers are willing to sell less, three less at every price. They wanna reduce the amount that they sell. So we're gonna have new data in our supply schedule and that's going to shift us to a whole new supply curve and so we have less supplied at every price and our whole supply curve whole supply curve is going to shift to the left from s2 to s3 so as you see here there used to be three units supplied at one dollar and fifty cents now there's zero there used to be four supplied at two dollars now there's one, and so on and so forth. And you can see how when there's less supply at every price, that's a leftward shift of the curve. And again, left is less, right is more. So just as we covered what tends to shift the whole demand curve, what tends to shift the whole supply curve? Well, as our last example illustrated, if there's a change in input prices, that's going to shift the supply curve. In particular, if input prices fall, then production and selling becomes more profitable, and firms are going to sell more then because it's more profitable to sell. So they're going to supply more at every price, and the supply curve will shift right. If there are improvements in technology, especially improvements in technology, that reduce the cost of production, then producing the good will become more profitable and firms will be willing to produce more and the supply curve will shift right. Expectations about the future, in particular future prices. If suppliers expect future output prices to be lower than they are now, that will tend to cause the current supply curve to shift right because they would rather sell now for the comparatively high price than tomorrow for the relatively low price. 
Again, as with demand, the strength of this effect depends upon how storable the good is. If the good is storable, this effect will tend to be fairly strong. If the good is perishable, or something like an intangible service, this effect will tend to be pretty weak if it's present at all. And then last here, fairly obviously, if more businesses or more firms enter the market, there's going to be more supply at every price, and so the supply curve is going to shift right.